Hi, and welcome to PassThePen.com. My name is Jose Henriquez. Today I'd like to show you a little in-depth of the appearance panel in Adobe Illustrator and how to save your settings as a graphic style. Let's get started. So here I have a basic star shape drawn out with a white fill and a black stroke. So let's make that a little bit more exciting. Well, in the appearance panel, we can do a lot without having to open multiple panels. So for instance, uh, we see here, there's the black stroke I was talking about. If we click on the swatch, we can get a mini version of our swatches panel. So let's change that color to red and here's the stroke weight let's pump that up to about 10 and let's change the fill color to blue and uh, let's add a couple more strokes so if I click on this here we can add a new stroke and you don't see anything change yet because our stroke is exactly identical to our original stroke. So let me change the color of that to a darker blue. And maybe lower the stroke weight. If I hit Command H, I'll hide the selection so that you can see your shape a little better. And we already added a little bit of interest, so let's add another stroke to that. And this time, if I click on the word stroke in the appearance panel, we'll get the stroke options. And let's change the alignment of the stroke to outside and change that color to, say, orange. Pump that stroke up. And the other thing you can do in the appearance panel is that you can rearrange your strokes and fills and effects uh, by just clicking and dragging off to the side. And we start to reveal our colors. You know what? Let me change those colors a little bit more. Okay. There, so you can see them better. And you can also use or add more fills to it. So let's add a fill. Let's drag that on top of our original fill just for organizational sake. And I'm going to choose a pattern on top of that. There's a grid pattern. And you'll notice you still see the color of the original fill because the pattern has some transparency into it already. It's not a complete fill. Uh, you know what, so you can see it a little better. I'll change it to a line pattern. There we go. Uh, one other thing you can do in the appearance panel is change your modes, if you will, of the opacity. So let's click on the word opacity on that line fill and change it from normal to overlay and you'll see that it interacts totally differently now with our original fill that's on the bottom so all these things are being stacked together so now we have a fill a pattern fill and three strokes on top and if I change the view to outline view you'll notice it's all one pattern. Uh, you'll notice it's all one path. And if I move them, if I move the points, and I go back, you'll see the shape uh, still has those appearance attributes. Now, once you have something that you're happy with, you can save it in your graphic styles panel, 
which is basically all these fills and effects and whatnot are saved as one click. So let me just show you how that works. So we can just click on the new graphic style button. Double click it to rename it. And we can just name it uh, whatever you want. Crazy lines with strokes. And so if I delete that and I draw another shape with a default setting, All you have to do, you don't have to recreate the whole thing over again. All you have to do is go into your graphic styles and click on it. And there you go. You have your effects, your fills, and whatnot. What you want to do with this is experiment, play around with the appearance, uh, add effects. So if you wanted to add an effect to just one stroke, for instance, if I take that green one, click on the effects button and let's just do something like distort and transform and zigzag move that over click on preview and you know play around with the settings you get some interesting effects And if you save that as a graphic style, it will also keep the effect. So if we click on our stroke drop down there, you'll see there's your zigzag. If you wanted to change the settings on it, all you have to do is click on the word zigzag there, or whatever the name of the effect may be, and just tweak it. Let's do something crazy. And again, if you move the point around, the effects follow your shape, no matter what you do. So I just wanted to show you how the appearance panel works, how you save the graphic styles, and add effects to your paths. Now, we can use that at, to our advantage by reusing those graphic styles in all our files in here. You want to try and take advantage of the graphic styles panel. Uh, if you're going to be using effects and strokes and fills and whatnot over and over again in your projects. Make sure you visit pastapen.com because every Monday I'll be giving away graphic styles that you can apply to your artwork in just a second. My name's Jose Henriquez for pastapen.com. Thanks for watching.